Hello, wealthy, successful, money-making traders. This is your trader's friend. Thank you for joining me today for another video. Guys, I'm so glad you can be here with me. And I hope that you are having a fantastic week. If you're in the part of the world, U.S. and other parts that are celebrating Thanksgiving, parts of the world that are. Uh, at any rate, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving this week, Happy Thanksgiving to you. And I hope that you will remember what is the most important things in life. And the thing about it is, the things that we get in life for free from God are the things that are the most valuable. The love of our families, the love of our friends, uh, our prosperity, our happiness, um, our brilliance, all the things that God gives us. Those are the things that are most important in life. But I want to talk to you today about chart hints. And you can see that I am in some trades, um, Euro USD. I didn't hit that sell limit, but I did get in on this. And the Euro JPY. Now, I have been swinging with the Euro USD all day long. And you can see we've just been kind of in this swing mode all day. And I've been shorting um, off the top or closer to the top. And trying to buy at resist uh, buy at support but guys this is one of the things oh let me mention this this green line uh, this is um, resistance off of a higher time frame should be the daily time frame but um, one of the benefits of buying at a level of support especially with a reversal candlestick pattern is you keep your stop losses small but you'll see and I'll show you better on the Euro JPY but when you come down here to break a level of support or you're at support and you go ahead and buy down here then if price comes back to close below this candle then you know it's, it's a trade that's not um, giving you the best possible advantage let's take a look at this one because I'm just now getting into this trade and you can see where it is that I shorted on this let's go to the 15 minute time frame because you can see all morning long this thing has just been climbing and climbing and climbing we have not been swinging here so when we got to this point you can see that price is not breaking above this level so what I did when price came back to revisit it, I went ahead and shorted. I shorted with the knowledge that if price came to close back above this candlestick, or this candlestick, it doesn't really matter. If price came to close back above this level, then it meant that I did not have the advantage that I thought I did. But one of the benefits of shorting at a point of resistance is it keeps your stop losses small. I absolutely could have been wrong in this trade without a doubt. Guys, I'm wrong more times in the market than I'd like to be. However, keeping your stop losses small, and I know I just said this in another video, but guys, that is so where the advantage is. And I've switched this to the five minute time frame as well, because you can see how price was just bouncing up and down at this level on the five minute time frame, and it wasn't really doing anything. So I do want to remind you that you can absolutely do this. There are many ways in the market to be successful but the number one way to see su success and to taste the wealth is to do it with discipline and I need to remind you that you can absolutely do this you can be successful at Forex have a terrific loving pip filled life 